What is the recommended initial defibrillation dose for a child in ventricular fibrillation? A. 1J slash KG. B. 2J slash KG. C. 4J slash KG. D. 6J slash KG. Answer B. The first shock for pediatric VF slash pulseless VT should be 2J slash KG. If unsuccessful, the dose can be increased to 4J slash KG for subsequent shocks. What is the most appropriate compression to ventilation ratio for a single rescuer performing CPR on a child? A. 15 colon 2. B. 30 colon 2. C. 10 colon 1. D. 5 colon 1. Answer B. When only one rescuer is present, the compression to ventilation ratio for all age groups except newborns is 30 to 2. What is the first step in treating symptomatic bradycardia in a child? A. Administer atropine. B. Start chest compressions. C. Check oxygen and ventilation. D. Prepare for pacing. Answer. C. Hypoxia is a common cause of bradycardia in children. Always ensure adequate oxygenation and ventilation before medications or pacing. The initial management for a pediatric patient with suspected supraventricular tachycardia, SVT, and stable vital signs is A. Synchronized cardioversion B. Adenosine 4 push C. Vagal maneuvers D. Amiodaron infusion Answer C. For stable SVT, vagal maneuvers are the first-line treatment, followed by adenosine if the rhythm persists. What is the correct dose of epinephrine during cardiac arrest for a child? A. 0.01 mg per kg 4 slash IO. B. 0.1 mg per kg 4 slash IO. C. 0.001 mg per kg 4 slash IO. D. 1 mg per kg 4 slash IO. Answer A. The pediatric cardiac arrest dose of epinephrine is 0.01 mg per kg, 0.1 mL per kg of 1 colon 10 solution for IO every 3 to 5 minutes. Which of the following rhythms requires synchronized cardioversion in a child? A. Asystole. B. VF. C. Unstable SVT. D. Pulseless VT. Answer. C. Synchronized cardioversion is indicated for unstable tachyarrhythmias with a pulse, such as SVT or VT with poor perfusion. What is the compression depth for infants during CPR? A. At least 1 inch. B at least 1.5 inches, 4 centimeters. C, at least 2 inches, 5 centimeters. D, one-third of chest depth. Answer, D. Compress the chest to about one-third its depth, approximately 1.5 inches, 4 centimeters, for infants and 2 inches, 5 centimeters, for children. What is the recommended rate of chest compressions in pediatric CPR? A. 60 80 slash min b 80 100 slash min c 100 120 slash min d 140 per minute answer c effective chest compressions should be delivered at a rate of 100 to 120 per minute to maintain adequate perfusion which condition is the most common cause of cardiac arrest in children a primary cardiac arrhythmia b respiratory failure c electrolyte imbalance d drug overdose answer b most pediatric arrests are secondary to respiratory failure or shock unlike adults who typically have cardiac causes what is the preferred vascular access for emergency drug delivery during pediatric resuscitation a oral b four or io c i m d subcutaneous answer b 
for our intraosseous access provides the fastest and most reliable route for medication delivery in emergencies. Which of the following is an early sign of respiratory distress in children? A. Bradycardia. B. Cyanosis. C. Nasal flaring. D. Unresponsiveness. Answer. C. Nasal flaring and retractions are early signs of respiratory distress, while bradycardia and cyanosis appear later. In a post-resuscitation phase, what is the target oxygen saturation for a child? A. 70 to 80 percent. B. 85 to 90 percent. C. 94 to 99 percent. D. 100 percent. Answer. C. Target SpO2 between 94 to 99 percent to avoid hypoxia and hyperoxia, both of which can cause harm after resuscitation. What is the initial shock dose for synchronized cardioversion in pediatric unstable SVT? A. 0.5 J slash kg. B. 1 J slash kg. C. 2 J slash kg. D. 4 J slash kg. Answer. B. The first dose is 1 J slash kg. If ineffective, the dose can be increased to 2 J slash kg. A child in pulseless VT should receive which first intervention? A. Synchronized cardioversion. B. CPR and defibrillation. C. Atropine. D. Vagal maneuvers. Answer. B. Pulseless VT is treated like VF, immediate CPR and defibrillation are the priorities. During a resuscitation, when should you reassess rhythm and pulse? A. Every 30 seconds. B. Every 2 minutes. C. Every minute. D. After each shock only. Answer. B. Rhythm and pulse checks should occur every two minutes to guide the next steps in resuscitation. What is the first-line treatment for anaphylactic shock in a pediatric patient? A. Four fluids. B. Epinephrine IM. C. Diphenhydramine. D. Steroids. Answer. B. Intramuscular epinephrine is the first-line treatment for anaphylaxis. It reverses airway swelling and hypotension. When ventilating a child with a bag mask device, how should breaths be given? A. Quickly to fill lungs. B. Just enough to see chest rise. C. Forcefully to increase oxygen. D. 10 rapid breaths per second. Answer. B. Avoid overventilation, give breath slowly until you see visible chest rise. What is the recommended rate of ventilation for a child with an advanced airway in place? A. 1 breath every 2 seconds. B. 1 breath every 3 to 5 seconds. C. 1 breath every 6 seconds. D. 2 breaths every 10 seconds. Answer. C. For children with an advanced airway, Provide one breath every six seconds, ten breath slash min, without pausing compressions. Which rhythm is non shockable in pediatric cardiac arrest? A. VF. B. Pulseless VT. C. Asystole. D. SVT. Answer C. Asystole and PA are non shockable rhythms and require CPR and epinephrine. What is the maximum single dose of adenosine in a pediatric patient? A. 3 mg. B. 6 mg. C. 9 mg. D. 12 mg. Answer. D. Adenosine may be given up to 12 mg per dose if the initial 6 mg dose fails to convert the rhythm. What is the correct oxygen flow rate for a pediatric non-rebreather mask? A. 2 to 4 liters per minute. B. 6 to 8 liters per minute. C. 10 to 15 liters per minute. D. 20 liters per minute. Answer. C. 
a non-rebreather mask requires high-flow oxygen, 10 to 15 liters per minute, to deliver up to 100% oxygen concentration. Which assessment tool is best for evaluating consciousness in infants? A. GCS B. AVPU C. APGAR D. ABCDE Answer, B. AVPU, alert, voice, pain, unresponsive, is simple and effective for assessing responsiveness in infants. What is the most likely cause of pulseless electrical activity, PA, in children? A. Congenital heart block B. Hypoxia or hypovolemia C. Hyperkalemia D. Drug overdose Answer, B. Hypoxia and hypovolemia are the leading reversible causes of PA in pediatric patients. Which rhythm is most commonly associated with sudden cardiac arrest in adolescence? A. Asystole B. VF C. SVT D. Bradycardia Answer, B. Ventricular fibrillation is the most common cause of sudden cardiac arrest in older children and adolescents. What is the best indicator of effective CPR in a child? A. Chest rise. B. ETCO2 greater than 20 mm of mercury. C. Loud ventilations. D. Heart rate increase. Answer, B. An end tidal CO2 value above 20 mm of mercury indicates good chest compression quality and cardiac output. Which of the following is part of the pediatric assessment triangle? A. Circulation B. Breathing C. Appearance D. All of the above Answer, D. The pediatric assessment triangle includes appearance, breathing, and circulation to the skin. What is the minimum systolic BP acceptable for a 7-year-old child? A. 60 mm of mercury B. 70 mm of mercury C. 80 mm of mercury D. 90 mm of mercury Answer, C. The formula for minimum systolic BP in children 1 to 10 years is 70 plus, 2 times age in years. What is the most effective way to confirm endotracheal tube placement? A. Chest rise. B. Condensation in tube. C. Continuous waveform capnography. D. Auscultation. Answer. C. Waveform capnography is the gold standard for confirming tracheal tube placement during resuscitation. What is the appropriate fluid bolus for a child in shock? A. 5 milliliters per kilogram. B. 10 milliliters per kilogram. C. 20 milliliters per kilogram. D. 40 milliliters per kilogram. Answer. C. Administer isotonic crystalloids in 20 mL per kilogram boluses, reassessing perfusion after each. A child in cardiac arrest with asystole should receive epinephrine every a. 1 minute b. 2 minutes c. 3 to 5 minutes d. 10 minutes Answer, c. Epinephrine is given every 3 to 5 minutes during cardiac arrest regardless of rhythm type. Which of the following can cause secondary cardiac arrest in pediatrics? A. Hypothermia B. Hypoxia C. Hypovolemia D. All of the above Answer, D. All listed factors can lead to secondary cardiac arrest by reducing oxygen delivery or perfusion. What is the appropriate defibrillation dose for a 20 kg child in VF? A. 20J B. 40J C. 60J D. 80J Answer, B. The first shock should be 2J kg, for a 20 kg child, this equals 40 joules. 
What drug is most appropriate for refractory VF after epinephrine and defibrillation? A. Atropine. B. Adenosine. C. Amiodaron. D. Magnesium. Answer. C. Amiodaron is recommended for shock refractory VF or pulseless VT after epinephrine and shocks. What is the most reliable sign of poor perfusion in a child? A. Capillary refill greater than 3 seconds. B. Flushed skin. C. Bounding pulse. D. Normal mental status. Answer. A. Delayed capillary refill indicates poor peripheral perfusion and possible shock. Which of the following is not part of the H's and T's of cardiac arrest? A. Hypoxia. B. Hypovolemia. C. Hypothermia. D. Hyperglycemia. Answer. D. Hyperglycemia is not one of the reversible causes of cardiac arrest. H's and T's address other life-threatening factors. What is the goal diastolic blood pressure during post-cardiac arrest care? A. Greater than or equal to 30 millimeters of mercury. B. Greater than or equal to 40 millimeters of mercury. C. Greater than or equal to 50 millimeters of mercury. D greater than or equal to 60 millimeters of mercury? Answer, C. Maintaining adequate diastolic BP ensures coronary perfusion during recovery after cardiac arrest. During CPR, what is the ideal chest compression fraction, time spent compressing? A, 40%. B, 50%. C, greater than or equal to 60%. D. Greater than or equal to 80%. Answer. D. Chest compression fraction should be greater than or equal to 80%, meaning compressions occur most of the time during resuscitation. When is sodium bicarbonate indicated in pediatric resuscitation? A. Metabolic acidosis. B. Respiratory acidosis. C. Hyperkalemia or TCA overdose. D. Hypoxia. Answer. C. Sodium bicarbonate is reserved for specific cases like hyperkalemia or tricyclic antidepressant overdose. What is the preferred temperature range for targeted temperature management in pediatrics post ROSC? A. 32 to 34 degrees Celsius. B. 34 to 37.5 degrees Celsius. C. 36 to 38 degrees Celsius. D. 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. Answer B. Maintain normothermia, 34 to 37.5 degrees Celsius, to prevent secondary injury after ROSC in children. What is the most important action after achieving ROSC in a pediatric cardiac arrest? A. Immediate discharge. B. Hyperventilation. C. Optimize oxygenation and perfusion. D. Repeat epinephrine. Answer. C. Post-ROSC care focuses on maintaining oxygenation, perfusion, and preventing further injury through controlled management.